Mariupol, once a thriving port city of 430,000, is being reduced to rubble by Russian bombardment. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says some 100,000 civilians remain trapped there in inhumane conditions. No food, no water, no medicine, under constant shelling, under constant bombing. For more than a week now, we've been trying to organize stable humanitarian corridors for Mariupol residents. Almost all of our attempts, unfortunately, are thwarted by the Russian occupiers. Thousands have been evacuated this week, though Zelensky says even humanitarian convoys themselves have been taken prisoner by Russian forces. The fall of Mariupol would open a land link between the previously annexed Crimean Peninsula and the pro-Russian separatist areas of Donetsk and Luhansk further east. It's also a crucial link for Ukraine's maritime trade, making it a key target for the Russian invasion. All over Ukraine we had uh, about 200 uh, cases of airstrikes, air bombing, and one half of them is to Mariupol. So each 15-20 minutes uh, they use a bomb on Mariupol. The Ukrainians' refusal to surrender has led to increasingly indiscriminate Russian attacks on civilian infrastructure and shelters, including the destruction of a theater in which more than a thousand residents were sheltering and an art school where some 400 had taken refuge. Casualty counts from the strikes are impossible to establish due to ongoing intense street battles in the area. The UN estimates 20,000 civilian casualties in Mariupol, with some 3,000 killed, but the real figure remains unknown.